Have you noticed this weird pattern? Whenever a government tries to control the internet, whenever there's a protest, whenever there's something shady going on in the online world, there's one common name, Telegram. Politicians hate it, hackers love it, drug dealers use it, and normal people just think it's a messaging app. But here's the twist. Telegram is both one of the safest apps in the world and also one of the most dangerous. And the reason lies in the engineering. Stay until the end. Point number two will blow your mind. Point number one. Telegram is not end-to-end -end encrypted by default. This shocks most of the people. When you chat normally on Telegram, your messages go to your device, Telegram server, and then to your friend. Encrypted in transit, yes, that's true. But Telegram can decrypt them on the server side. They promise they don't, but technically they can. Only secret chats are fully end-to-end -end encrypted. Second, secret chats use Telegram's insane MT Proto protocol. Now, here's where it gets crazy. When you start a secret chat, Telegram switches to MT Proto protocol, their custom end-to-end -end encryption protocol. This gives you device-specific keys, zero cloud backup, self-destruct messages, and no server-side history. Nothing. Delete it and it's gone on both the devices. And that is why activists, whistleblowers, and well, darker groups use it. Third point, Telegram's distributed architecture makes it difficult to shut down. And that is why governments struggle. Telegram splits metadata in one region, media in another, encryption keys somewhere else. So basically blocking Telegram is like trying to catch smoke. Telegram can be ultra safe, but only if you know what mode you are in. Use it blindly and you are not as private as you think. Use it smartly and even governments can't touch you. If you want more mind-bending stories like these, follow and subscribe for more.